Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of KNMRD Radio Stuff. My name is Mike, gonna keep this one uh, hopefully short and sweet. Had someone ask how to wire a BMS for a four cell lithium iron phosphate battery in a 12 volt configuration. Just so happens I need to rewire mine because my old BMS decided that it wanted to have a severe meltdown and die. Uh, I picked up a new BMS from Dally. I'll leave an affiliate link to Amazon in the description. It's about $15. And let's show you how to wire up a BMS for lithium iron phosphate four cell 12 volt configuration. Stay tuned. So first off, this is the battery that we're gonna be using. This is a 10 amp hour four cell headway 38120S 3.2 volt 10 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. And what we need to do, we're gonna use this lithium iron phosphate 30 amp hour BMS and we're gonna wire this up. The BMS comes with this balancing lead and I've already gone ahead and attached all of these. These are quarter inch ring terminals. We're gonna need five of these. And then we have our positive wire. This is just a bit of 12 gauge wire that again, a quarter inch ring terminal and I have a power pole, an Anderson power pole on this side as well as the BMS itself has a quarter inch ring terminal and an Anderson power pole as well. So the way this is gonna work, pretty easy. We've got P minus, this is our actual negative load side here. This B minus, this is gonna to go to the minus of battery one. Now notice one, two, three, four, we need to wire this blue B minus wire into the negative of battery one as well as the black wire from this balancing lead cable. Very, very easy. We're gonna take our screw and locking washer. Now you can cut these wires to uh, kind of tidy it up a bit. I'm just gonna zip tie these at the end. And all we're gonna do, put that in there, that in there, and Screw it in, tighten it down. Be sure not to over tighten these too much. You just need to get them snug. Now the rest of these red wires, so this went to the negative, the black went to the negative of battery one. This next red wire is gonna go to the positive of battery one, and then we're gonna go to the positive of battery two, the positive of battery three, and the positive of battery four, along with our main positive out. So this is the first red wire on the balancing lead next to the black wire, connecting to the positive of battery one. Now we're gonna go to the positive of battery two. We're gonna get the next wire in line, and I'm gonna tuck this in that little groove there just to tidy it up a little bit. As you can see, I just have it going there. Don't need to, that's just my OCD. Tighten that down, come back over, find our third lead, connect to the positive of battery three, and our fourth lead, we're going to connect to the positive of battery cell number four. Now we can plug this in to our BMS. Now to tidy this all up, again, you can cut these if you want before you obviously put all the ring terminals on them. You can measure them before you cut. I'm just gonna use some zip ties to tidy that up. This way, for some reason, if I ever decide to change the configuration of this battery in terms of where the cells are or whatever, I can just do that. I don't wanna have to buy a new balance lead cable. Next, I'm just gonna tidy everything up with some zip ties. I'm just gonna link a few of these together, three to be exact, just so we can keep this all in a nice little package. Tidy these up. And then I'm gonna put one more across this side here for extra measure. I'm gonna wrap the whole thing in Kapton tape. Really 
tighten it down there. Now we've got a nice, tidy, complete package. Now lastly, at the very least, put a strip of this capped on tape over the terminals just to protect yourself. I'm gonna be doing a little bit more testing on this in the next couple days, but once I'm done testing this, I'm gonna wrap this entire thing in capped on tape so there's no chance of shorting anything out. But at the very least for now, I am going to cut just a little bit to cover up these terminals because I don't want to be shocked by this battery that's capable of delivering a lot of current. So usually I say safety third and throw caution to the wind. Eh, not so much with this. I'll also put an affiliate link for some Kapton tape. This stuff was pretty cheap and I think this is like a 300 meter roll or something. Um, I don't remember how much I paid, but it's not that much. A lot cheaper than you shocking yourself is how much it costs. So just cover up these terminals. Doesn't have to be pretty. You just don't want to cross the streams. And now you have a functioning, balanced, and safe lithium iron phosphate battery. And that's all for now, gang. If you enjoyed this kind of content, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Also hit the thumbs up and share. If you want to support the channel, you can do that at patreon.com slash Radio stuff. Until next time, we'll see you again on another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff. 73, guys.